Welcome to Master Mathematics Minutes. Today's topic is about directed numbers. And we'll cover a couple examples on directed numbers. And we will conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what are directed numbers? Directed numbers describe real-world conditions and include negative and positive signs to indicate the direction of the number. Let's take a look at a couple examples. We have temperature as minus 10 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. So minus 10 indicates that it is 10 degrees below zero. And positive 25 is where it's 25 degrees above zero. Secondly, we have a bank balance of minus $120 and positive $2,000. So minus $120 is where your $120 below zero and positive $2,000 is where your $2,000 above zero. So we have sea level as minus 800 meters, for example, and 500 meters. So the minus sign indicates that it, it is 800 meters below sea level, and 500 meters is where it is 500 meters above sea level. In the first example, we're asked to express the conditions below using directed numbers. We have profit of 5,000 and the loss of 300. And so the answer is 5,000 being positive as it represents profit and minus 300 where the minus sign indicates a loss. In the second example, we're asked to express the conditions below using directed numbers. A weight lost of 8 kilograms and weight gain of 2 kilograms. So the answer is minus 8 kilograms, where the minus represents loss. And with 2 kilograms, where the positive sign represents a gain. In the third example, we're asked to express the conditions below using directed numbers. We have an excess supply of 2 litres and a supply shortage of 15 litres. So the answer is 2 litres and the positive sign indicates excess. And we have minus 15 litres where the minus sign indicates a shortage. In the fourth example, we're asked to express the conditions below using directed numbers. Four hours behind of New York and 10 hours ahead of New York. So the answer is minus four hours, where the minus sign indicates that we're behind New York. And 10 hours, where the positive sign indicates that we're ahead of New York. To summarize, directed numbers describe real-world conditions and include negative and positive signs to indicate the direction of the number. Let's consider a couple examples. We have temperature being minus 10 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius, for example. A bank balance of minus $120 and positive $2,000. And finally, a sea level of minus 800 meters below sea level and 500 meters above sea level. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics Minutes. 